Hi everyone, I'm going to be explaining how you would develop the personal and social capability. So if you've chosen this capability for your research project, you are going to be developing these dot points here. I'm going to go through these dot points and unpack them and explain how you might develop these dot points or capabilities during your research project throughout your research practices and processes. So looking at the first one, developing a sense of personal identity. If you're looking at a research question that develops your personal development in one aspect, this is probably the right capability for you. So if you're developing a sense of personal identity, the way that you might apply that is by setting yourself a goal or what is it that you want to get out of the research process. So you might be developing a sense of personal identify, identify, uh, identity by identifying that you uh, are very good at one aspect, whether that be you're a swimmer or you're a gymnast and you want to look at how you can improve on that. Looking at reviewing and planning of personal goals. If your question is around how you can improve, this is the perfect example of how you would review and plan personal goals. So if your question is around how you can improve on your ability to perform a task, whatever that task may be, that's how you're addressing that. So you might write that as, I'm developing my ability to review and plan personal goals by looking at my current ability to perform a task and then looking at how I can improve on performing that task by researching different processes and then measuring my uh, ability to perform that personal task after looking at ways in which to improve to see if there is an improvement and setting a goal. So looking at the third dot point, understanding and exercising individual and shared obligations and rights. So this one most people won't address, so I won't go through it. If however you think that you might be addressing this, please come and talk to me. Okay, so the fourth dot point, participating actively and responsibly in learning, work and community life. If you are participating in your own learning through learning to understand how to develop your ability to perform a task, that is how you're addressing that part of the capability. If you're looking at other people and asking for their opinion on how to improve, then you're, you're within the community life. So you might say that you're developing your ability to participate actively in community life by asking for uh, experienced advice from people at your swimming centre, e.g. your coach, if you are looking at how to improve your swimming. Okay, so looking at the next stop point, establishing and managing relationships in personal and community life, work and learning. So if you are establishing and managing relationships in your personal life, then you may be doing this by looking at how you can manage your own connections to people in your personal life that might help you with your personal goals. Now, if you're looking at community life, work or learning, again, it's similar to this dot point up here. If you're seeking help from other people within the community, then that's how you're developing, you're firstly establishing and then managing those relationships in community life. Looking at this dot point here, developing empathy for others and understanding of others. So if you're uh, looking at how uh, something may be impacting on someone else, you're developing an empathy and understanding for that other person because you're putting yourself in those shoes. Most people won't address this, but if you do, please, or if you think you might, again, please let me know. Okay, so uh, this one here, making responsible decisions based on evidence. So when you start making your personal goals about how you might improve, you should be thinking about making responsible decisions for how you could improve, what techniques that you could use based on evidence. So instead of just blindly following someone, by if they tell you to do something that will improve your uh, personal goal, actually think about 
What qualifications do they have? Do they have any evidence based on this? Do they have people in their sporting complex that have followed these uh, training techniques and have actually improved? So you would address that by looking at, I will uh, uh, improve my ability to make responsible decisions based on evidence by talking to people that are in charge of other athletes and how those training techniques have actually improved them or whether they haven't. Looking at working reflectively in teams and handling challenging situations constructively, you may use your teammates when looking at how you can improve your personal goals. If you do that, you need to understand how to work effectively in, in teams and handling challenging situations by instead of being perhaps resistive to this situation, but being constructive about how can you change this and make it better. Now, it's likely that when you develop your own personal goal, you're going to build be building links with others. And you could be doing that on a local scale. You could actually be doing it on a national scale, depending on who you know, or it could even be globally as well. So if you're a gymnast and you're looking at how to improve your technique, you might be talking to gymnasts in other countries, which means that you would be thinking on a global scale and you would just explain that. <laughs> 